Hello everyone, True Zero Emissions. True Zero Emissions here. We are at the Fullerton Loop. You can look that up on your map. To actually take the actual loop may require someone showing you. Or you can watch the video that Roger made. Look at Roger EUC. Look at Roger EUC's YouTube channel. And there's a video called, uh, it's something like detailed video of Fullerton Loop, something like that. Okay, so now we're going to ride down that. <laughs> and then you can learn how to go around this. I didn't even realize Connor had a camera in his helmet. I just noticed Connor had a camera underneath his visor. Looks like a GoPro. That's good. Oh, I think that's the one that I pedal clipped on. I wonder who went up that. That's the one I rolled down the hill on right there. I rolled right down that hill. Here's the jump. I see someone in front of me. I think those these two paths came together. Yeah, they did. <clears throat> That's my hello to people. I'm saying hello. When I was a kid, someone told me that I could be president if I wanted to. Anybody want me to be the president? I could be a write-in, right? Oh, I did want to mention that um, if you don't, if voting is overwhelming or too confusing, let's say you just want to vote for who, who the president is. You can do that. You don't have to know the answers to everything so if someone just wants to vote on the presidency I, I was told that you can do that you could just vote on that one just that one thing who do you want to be the president and vote on that and then you can skip all the other answers if you don't have enough knowledge to feel comfortable putting a vote in so it's critically important that you vote for who you feel represents your values for the world because each country represents humanity, right? I think, I think each country represents humanity, the best of humanity. Ideally, I mean. At least this is a thought experiment that I'm sharing with you. But I, I was told that you could just vote for who's president, who you want to be president. What do you think about having a woman president for the first time? Mexico has a woman president. Do you think? I feel like we're ready for it. And the woman seems really, really smart. Very good to me. 
Connor, I did not realize you had a camera right there. Yeah, I just stick it on sometimes. Oh, got it, got it. And which one is? Let me put my visor down. Yeah, which camera is it? Uh, it's like a five, I think. A GoPro five? I think so. I forgot. Okay. And it's good. It works out for you. It's good. Okay. So Connor's running a GoPro five. So that makes my GoPro early, new. I have, yeah, I have a GoPro seven silver. You probably know, but that was me making making the the birdie soundies. Bird sounds. I think if I was president of the United States of America, I would just like I was always taught that if you don't know how to do something or what, you know, if you don't know how, if you're not the best at something, you can hire the best. So that's, I think that's what it's about, right? Like getting all the right people. to do the job. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I had to... Okay, I just unscrew my motherboard. We screwed in. Maybe you stuck it. I don't know why I did that. Ah, no way! There's a lot of Zeppelin. Oh, did we go the wrong way? I feel like we went the wrong way. I think they went through the tunnel. I, I, I totally forgot about that. I don't know. I don't know where that comes out. The tunnel would have been fun though. I th <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I like how I like how slow they were going. Oh, bicycle! Bicycle! I like how slow they were going, but steadily. Yeah. What the heck? That's weird. Oh, it's theirs? Oh, they're coming down. They're coming down.
With a knobby, he would have probably made it. Yeah. He's ready for a knobby. Okay. Oh wow. I don't know, but it just sliced. Oh, what? Be careful, yeah, yeah. But it just sliced the thing. You should probably dremel that, right? Dremel it? This is a, this is a wheel that um, Small was given nice. from in motion. So okay, got it. You should like tell them about it. Like, yeah. I just went to grab it and my finger yeah. just sliced right on it. Uh, I didn't want to do it. Okay. Oh, a little low. So. Yeah, it's a good looking wheel. Looks good. I learned on the in motion V10F. That's a good line. Yeah, it's perfect. Small, small line of oh, he oh, did? I went to accelerate and the, the torque is definitely not as much on this. Oh, really? The Tom Mini, yeah. Oh! oh. 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 Wow. Did it shock this low? Yeah. What happened? You fell and hit the thing. Why did you drop? Look at that. We didn't know where you were. That's amazing. 40? Yeah. Perfect. That saved your rim, huh? 40 PSI saved his rim. <laughs> so casing it means here's the jump and then here's the landing and he hit the landing. But because he had 40 PSI in his rim, in his tire, I'm sorry, it didn't allow the it didn't allow the rim to hit the mountain. The 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 two the, the tire oh, protected the rim. If he had low tire pressure, then the tire would have collapsed, would have, the tire would have, uh, yeah, like, the rim would have uh, hit the, the landing ramp. I'm so tired, I keep dropping my wheel. Going down? Jump, jump, that's gonna secure it. Going down, oh shit! Yo! Perfect. Easy! Perfect. Perfection. <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> I'm just blaming being tired. Yeah, he's being tired. Yeah. And this is really slippery. This handle is really tight. Oh, okay. It's really slippery. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah, in the sermons we used to rap like a uh, tennis or yeah, tennis grip. Tennis grip or or bike road bike grip. Yeah, yeah, or, or badminton grip. Same or yeah. 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 Uh, but no, it's wait, like I can feel my finger in there. Um, it's just yeah, it's not it's not that usable. Too big now, and it starts. It, it becomes like an EC Max. Yeah, then that's why you don't you don't. Yeah. Like at least lo do it lower and further out like that. That's like uh. I mean, no, no, but, but, uh, but, uh, the yeah, yeah. All right, where to? Follow Mikey. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to sit down again because I'm practicing sitting down. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't know my pedal was up. I put my foot down and the pedal was up. Connor said he's going to go get lost again. Interesting. It is getting dark now. Move my headlight up a little bit. Because it's dusty. Or, oh, I can't see. My my goggles fogged up. My goggles are foggy. See that gentleman in front of me only has a hundred miles on his electric unit, so it's riding an electric unit, like, oh, oops, I'm losing, I'm, am I going to crash? Okay, I'm going to stand up, and he can go faster than me sitting down, but I've just been only sitting down for two days, sitting down is brand new to me, which I guess is unusual, because usually people can sit down around the same time they can stand up, and the two things I learned first were standing up and riding backwards and forwards. And then I'm like, I should learn to sit down. But every time I went to practice, I just wanted to get better at riding, standing up and moving forwards, which may have saved me some crashes, right? Because I've done a lot of high speed riding with, in group rides where people are going, you know, 40 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour sometimes. when it's safe to. There's an electric bike. The nice thing about electric bikes is they don't make any noise. And so there's less complaints from from this, from people. When you have a dirt bike that's noisy, people will call. They'll call, call it in because they don't want to hear the noise. Now, if you have electric, no one even knows you're there. That's why the police are using electric vehicles, electric motorcycles, and the military too, if I understand correctly. Where applicable, I should say. Is that their dog? Where's the dog at? Oh wow, it's way up here. You haven't done it yet? No, I haven't. Yeah. I don't trust my uh, suspension. Okay. For clearing at the bottom. Okay. And I don't trust my skills for going up. Okay. Do you feel like going... Connor, do you feel going up is more challenging than going down? I don't know. Going down is probably easier. Okay. But the... Uh, going up is also hard because it's like... You lean forward, your weight's outside of your wheel. Yeah. Going down, it's a lot more just feel pressure. Okay. <laughs> I 
I wonder how many degrees it is. That's not 45, is it? I don't know. No? Okay. Yeah, that looks right. 35. They're flying. <laughs> They're having so much fun. Oh boy. Come up, come up, come up. Send it. Don't come out. Jump it. Yeah. <laughs> that looks so cool with you guys crossing like that. <laughs> that looked awesome. Has anyone seen him? Oh. Uh, he keeps side questing. <laughs> Where's the other guy? Connor? Oh, you're probably, you're probably yeah. Connor? Where'd Connor go? Oh, wow. Did they go down here? <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop this video. We'll start a new one in a few seconds. Stop recording. <laughs> 